Okay, question on uh, protein synth synthesis, uh, question 1A, page 25. Okay, so very complex questions. Uh, uh, this one here, high degree of difficulty because there's so much uh, kind of uh, comprehension involved in these type of questions. So let's go through it and see if uh, we can develop some strategies on how to tackle these questions that have a lot of information in them. So certainly you want to have a highlighter when you're doing your midterm, your final, any of the other ones, if you can have just a scrap sheet of paper because you're doing them online, just make some notes. And that often, like I say, will make it uh, a little easier to retrieve some of this information. Uh, antibiotics, uh, again, we know that antibiotics, we know, uh, sorry, just got to get my pen activated here, are proteins, right? So we recognize that, that that's one of the functions of the proteins that forms these anti, uh, antibiotics that uh, aid in immunity. So uh, are chemicals produced by some microorganisms uh, to provide a defense against bacterial infections? Some antibiotics block or uh, disrupt one or more of the stages of protein synthesis. So it's going to block it, stop it from happening. Uh, some of them will inhibit cell division in bacteria. Some common antibiotics are described below. So we have a, a whole array of different uh, antibiotics. So let's take a look at the question and see what they're asking for. They're saying some antibiotics do not prevent the synthesis of protein. So they're not preventing the protein from being produced, uh, but they do cause the cells to produce abnormal proteins. And we know that abnormal proteins often occur with a mutation. So at this point, you've probably seen some information about uh, mutations, point mutations, missense mutations, nonsense mutations, and some frame, uh, frame, shift, uh, frame shift mutations. So uh, they're asking here now what uh, for the anti antibiotics that are going to lead to not a shutdown of protein synthesis, so you're still going to produce a protein, but it's just going to be abnormal. Okay, and then they give you a bunch of different uh, possibilities, three and four. So let's take a look at number one. Uh, one says uh, it actually prevents the normal joining of messenger RNA with ribosomes. If it doesn't join with the ribosomes, that's going to prevent the protein from being produced. So it's going to actually prevent protein synthesis. Okay, that's not what the question is asking for. They said, no, protein synthesis went on as normal, but uh, there was, maybe due to causing a mutation, an abnormal protein that was produced at it. So that can't be number one. So if I just even know that, I can take a look at my options and I can right off the, uh, right the get-go uh, eliminate C and eliminate D because you can see distinctly that number one prevents the formation which is going to stop or inhibit the actual protein synthesis process because that's you know this one of the first steps of translation. Okay, let's take a look at number two. Causes a misread in the genetic code in messenger RNA. Now we know that misreading can lead to those mutations that will actually cause an abnormal protein from being produced. So that's kind of what we're looking for here. So number two is correct. And if you take a look at our options there, you can see that A doesn't even have two in there, so we can eliminate that. And before we even go on, we can come up with the right answer, B here. But let's carry on anyways, and let's see if number three does the same thing. So it says number three, that antibiotic binds with the amino acid uh, tyrosine and substitutes that particular amino acid. And we know that if you substitute or replace one amino acid in the chain, that can often lead to an abnormal protein. Okay, and we said that this is a form of missense. It's going to, that mutation or that substitution is going to put a different amino acid in that chain making it abnormal. It won't function for that particular function. So that's correct. 
And if we take a look at number four, binds to DNA. So if it's binding to DNA, that has nothing to do with protein synthesis. And it inhibits the linking of nucleotides in messenger RNA, R DNA. So if you can't actually even link messenger RNA together, you're not going to make a protein. That's going to prevent protein synthesis. Because that's the code. And if you can't even get the code right, there's no way you're going to be able to start stringing amino acids together. So by that, we can see here that two and three are going to produce abnormal proteins. So that's what we're looking for. Very complex question. Unfortunately, you are going to see very similar questions like this on your unit exam. So uh, hopefully you're taking a look at this. And if you have any issues, you can give me an email. We can go over it. Okay, thanks.